Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, this was a question that was again sent in by a YouTube comment and the question is uh, I'm writing an app that has an optional dependency. How do I test when the dependency is missing inside my test suite? And like kind of the, the, the backstory of that is like I, you usually want to have all of your optionals installed under tests such that you can validate their behavior but you also want to check what would happen if they're missing. And I'm going to show you how to test that and I, you know, a couple different ways you can write your program that's based around optionals as well. Uh, so to get started, we're going to write a very, very silly program. This program is going to load a configuration file and that's it. <laughs> it's a bit of a contrived example, but you could kind of imagine a more complicated scenario. Um, and I'm just going to put everything in main.py, you know, if name equals main, uh, exit main main function that returns an integer and we're going to make the default configuration loading style json and we're going to make sure the file is always going to be called config.json it's not a very good idea but it's it's a program but, uh and so you'll do you know with open config.json as f print json.load f so this is our, our very simple program you'll note that if i run it right now it should crash because config.json doesn't exist and if we touch config.json, it now exists, but it's not a JSON file. So we'll need to make that into a JSON file. And the easiest way to do that is to just write in some JSON. So I don't know, foo bar one. <laughs> and if we run that now, you can see that now it gets loaded as a Python file. Um, but maybe a requirement comes along that's like, hey, it would be cool to support YAML or TOML or some other configuration language. Let's let's do TOML for the sake of discussion. Uh, I hear that's the cool new hotness. Uh, and so what we want to do here is we want to do some sort of optional opt-in checking for TOML because it's not, you know, it's not a core functionality, so you don't always need to have it installed, but maybe you can install TOML to have your optional support. And so let's write a little bit of code that does that. So I'm going to use os.path, support os.path, and we're going to give a couple of choices of the config file here in some precedence order. Uh, so let's say if os.path.exists config.json, then we'll do you know, our, our, um, our normal setup here. Um, elif os.path.exists config.toml, then we'll do some loading here, uh, else raise, uh, system exit, expected a config.json or config.toml. So if we set this up, I'll implement the toml step in a second, and if we rm config.json, all right, let's just move config.json to, uh, you know, not, not config.json. Uh, oops, this should go here. Uh, so you can see I moved, moved that to not config JSON. So now if we python main.py, you'll say, you know, expect the config.json or config.toml. And we should print config down here, yeah, so that we, oops, actually do what we intended to do here. And if we were to, you know, move this config file back, let's see that our original script continues to work with JSON as the loading function, but not. Uh, we gotta, but not our tunnel one yet. And so let's talk about the first way that you can do optional dependencies. And that is to import them optionally at the module scope using try and accept for import error. So you can do try import tunnel, uh, accept import error, uh, tunnel equals none. So this is ensuring that this tunnel name is present everywhere. This is one approach that I've seen people use uh, it works. Uh, <laughs> I don't know that it's particularly how I would design this, but uh, it is one way that you can approach this. And that way you come down here and you can say, you know, if toml is none, uh, raise an error, system exit, need to install toml to use config.toml. Uh, so this is, you know, kind of guarding against this being optionally not there. Otherwise, you know, config equals toml.load uh, with 
open config.toml. Otherwise, we load the toml configuration here. So, let's see if we can. <laughs> Actually, no, right, toml. So, I don't, I don't know if this is correct or not. Who? I think it's just like I and I, right? <laughs> right? Uh, so you can see now if we run this program, I don't have toml installed, so it says need to install toml to use config.toml. And if we make, you know, virtualive and we install toml, you'll see now that it can load the toml file. So this is kind of like one example of how to do this. Uh, another way that you might do this is by importing inline instead of, uh, so this, this is going to be approach one. <laughs> cb main.py. We're going to test both of them, so I want to show you both of the approaches first. Uh, module scoped.py. And um, we're going to do another approach, which is not module scoped, but imported inline here. Uh, so we'll just do import toml. Uh, we can actually have that same, you know, import error check here. And raise that system exit here. Uh, actually, the code the code adjusts itself nicely. It's just basically uh, inlining this part here. Uh, so you can see here, if you know Toml is not importable, we'll go to this system system exit. Uh, but if it is importable, we'll go to this else block here and, and load the configuration as normal. So you'll see, you know, this this works. And if we pip uninstall uninstall Toml we should still get that same error message as before. Uh, cool. And so I'm going to copy main.py to inline.py, and we're going to test both of these. And I'm going to test both of these with pytest. And uh, actually, we can probably just test them inside this file here. Yeah, I think that's going to work fine. Um, so let's just go down here. Which is probably easier to test it in another file. Let's do it. Let's do another file. Uh, so we're going to, I'm going to first test the inline one first, because I think this is the more confusing and probably the one you would get the most value, the most learning value out of. Um, I like to name my tests the model name underscore test.py. So I'm going to use inline test.py. And we're going to do uh, import inline. So we're going to import this module and def test inline with uh, toml missing. And uh, hmm. we actually have a bit of a predicament here because I don't want to create these files on my file system. I want to use a temporary directory. So I'm going to use the tempter fixture here. And we're going to use a context manager on the tempter fixture with tempter.asCWD. So this changes us into the temporary directory. This would allow us to create these toml files. Um, so we're going to do tempter dot join config dot toml dot write uh, you know foo backslash and bar equals one kind of the same config as we had before um, and this will be with toml present we'll do the missing one first or we'll do the missing one back on I realize this string is off screen so I will show you that string on screen uh, okay so with that written we're also going to use capsis to look at the output We'll do inline.main, and we should expect to see this mapping written. Uh, out error equals cab sys.readout error. Actually, do this outside of our context here, and our output should be uh, foo mapping to bar mapping to one. Uh, the new line. <laughs> There's a bug in my syntax editor. Great. <laughs> Uh, and that, sh that should be a passing test. Um, install pytest, pytest, inline, oops, inline test.py. Cool, so we have one passing test so far. But I want to test this other case here when toml is missing, so let's do that. Test when toml, or test inline when toml is missing. We're again going to use tempter and capsis. And I'm going to import the sys module here. We have to do a little bit of a special advanced kind of thing here uh, where we have to fake the modules to pretend that toml is not there. And the way you can trigger an import error in Python uh, is by setting a value in sys.modules. So let's make toml not, 
activate our virtual let's make toml not available and what we can do here is do sys.modules toml equals none so then if i try to import toml uh you'll see that um you get a import error we actually get a, a specialized message here that talks about none in sys.modules um, I actually hadn't seen this message before. This is kind of cool. It used to just be a normal import error, but this is the same import error that you would get for that. Uh, but we can use this same fact in our example here to patch out this, uh, this module, even though it's dynamically imported in this function, and even if it had been imported previously as well. So what we're going to do here uh, is I'm also going to import from unit test import mock mock is a or unit test.mock is a standard library uh, patching library and we're going to use that to patch sys.modules with that thing now the nice thing about mock is it will undo any of the changes that it makes so you can use with mock.patch.dict this will patch some dictionary object the dictionary object we're going to be patching is sys.modules and we're going to set toml to none so this will force toml to be none inside this context manager. So then we're going to do similar to what we did up here with tempter.scwd, tempter.join, fig.toml.write. I should just copy and paste it in this. Anyway, we can, we can copy and paste it now. Oops, Temp this up here. And we're going to run the test just as before. Out error equals capsis dot read out error. And actually in this case, uh, <laughs> This should raise an exception because we should have gotten this system exit here. Uh, let's actually change this to not raise an exception instead. Just because the test is going to be a little bit cleaner. Sys.standarderror.write. This. And then we're just going to return one. This is, our, this is our error case. And I'm actually going to do the same pattern down here. So these are consistent. Line. Cool. And so we should actually be able to assert inline.main, assert that the return value is equal to one. And if we read the output in the error, we should get a standard error. We should say assert out is equal to the empty string. Well, I guess we can also do that up here. Assert error is equal to the empty string. And we should be able to assert error is equal to need to install toml to use config.toml with a new line. So we should get our error case here. And putting all that together, uh, you'll see that that test passes as well. So this, this took us down this separate path here where this caused an import error. So that's the inline example. Uh, I'm going to take this same thing and apply it to our non-inline example, and we'll, we'll see how this code changes a little bit. We're going to use a different function than mock.patch.dict. Uh, I'm actually going to copy the inline test to, or did I name the other module, uh, into module, module scoped test.py. And let's open up module scoped instead. Uh, oops, this was, usually I make the match. Uh, I goofed, there's a <laughs> character typo there, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, module scoped, and instead of inline, we're going to change inline to module scoped place those cool and we should be able to see essentially the same output here so this test should already be passing but you'll notice that since we don't do a dynamic import this is already imported and toml is already set in this model this test won't be passing yet so if we go here and do pytest model scope test you'll see that you know this this hasn't failed in that particular way oh i should also uh, grab the print from the other one To grab these so that we have the same output there. That way, this the test will work the same. Okay. Um, but you can see that yeah, we this test didn't 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 fail as we expected it to, and the reason for that is even though we uh, changed sys.modules, this would this has already been imported before our test even runs. So what we need to do is we need to force this case as the test runs. And fortunately, we can do that with a different mocking method, uh, mock.patch.object. And we're going to set an attribute on this module. Fortunately, we've already imported this module up here, so module scoped. And we're going to set the toml attribute to none. 
uh, this this will force hopefully this pathway here. So we do that now. See so that we run this. Oh, I forgot to import sys somewhere in this file. Import sys. Uh, but yeah, now the test passes. But anyway, that's two different ways, uh, coupled with two different uh, testing approaches to have optional dependencies and test them, especially testing them when they're missing. But hopefully this was useful. This was a little bit more complicated than I planned on it being. But anyway, if you guys have additional stuff you want me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.